to stay up in New York after you finish? You know, I don't know. Graduation seems far away, but it's only next year, and I am chasing some internships. Feel like you fit in well up there. What do you mean? It's in the city. Mm -hmm. Feel like it suits you. <laughs> what about you? Are you still running? Yeah. Times are getting better. I want to see you race again. You dating anyone? No. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Who was the last lucky guy? Oh. He wasn't lucky. We just went out for a couple dates and some shows, and then things went dark. Dark like that? No, I mean, silent. It's kind of how things work up there. You pick up fast, and then you just uh -huh. go nowhere. If you're fishing for any juicy details, you'll find the water's pretty shallow. What about you? I'm sure you've had some romances? No. Okay, sure. Come on, come on. Tell me about your hot flings. Be honest. You know, <laughs> I was gonna tell you all the steamy details. And, mm -hmm. and then I just thought, now I've heard that you're solo. I don't wanna embarrass you, so. Oh, oh okay. Just been a man <laughs> in demand, I see. Busy, you know busy me. boy. Mm -hmm. What was that? Mm -hmm. About that look, the shake. You gonna do that? What, get married? No, I mean, have your picture taken like that. Oh, um, maybe. But I wouldn't do it here. I would do it in a place that uh, felt like home. I was looking through this book of Japanese wedding portraits from before World War I. Don't ask me why. And I loved how intimate they felt. It didn't feel like a glamour shot or a magazine. It's like each bride felt so personal in their own space, in their home. It's just like these souvenirs around that showed their families. And yeah, you could get a real sense of them that way. Water or anything? Sure, I can get it. Okay. Um, I'll just, I'll be right back. 